Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to Shay's Reaction. Okay, if you like what I've been speaking about, hit that bell so I could know. Hit the like button so I could also know if I'm going to continue with this topic. Um, Like, share, and subscribe. Um, <laughs> I know I keep saying um because this is, this is crazy. But I'm back with another one. I'm talking about Brianna Hampton and her situationship and her obsession with her husband. And I ain't going to say ex-husband, but her husband, because honestly, them papers still haven't been signed. But yeah, I decided to um, pick up this, pick up this story. Like I've been since day one. I've been zoomed into this story from day one. I've been, this so, this story has been a hot topic. You feel me? This story has been a hot topic. And in the beginning, like I was saying last night, in the beginning, I felt bad for this girl. Like um, everything my husband was doing, I would used to be like, yo, you a narc, you a narc. Sitting here taking stories and pieces of her life. And this woman was honestly lying. Um... Which is wrong. If you wanted to get out of the relationship, you should have just got out of the relationship. You feel me? You didn't have to move how you moved. Or even if you did what you did, you scammed, you schemed, you did whatever. But for you to keep going on and keep doing these interviews and keep... Something got to be done. Something got to be done by Shorty. And the more people hear this, the more pe awareness is out there, the more... You, what I'm like, what, what frustrates me is that you really have women out here right now that's going through domestic violence, that's going, that's with a narc, um, that don't have no outlet, that don't have nowhere to go, that don't have the funds, and you really sit here taking all of the attention. And your situation was a lie. Everybody knows that your situation was a lie. And I'm going to continue to make my videos about this. And I'm going to continue to spread the word. Because other people. And shout out to Sweet Ma. Shout out to Lou Pop. Um, shout out to Harmony. Shout out to Retta. And these is the ladies that I've been following. Um, these is the ladies that. Been speaking some true facts. Been speaking some true facts. Like. And her supporters, the people that stand up behind her, as I see, as I examine her, as I be on her Facebook sometimes, because you know I'm going to be lurking, because I'm trying to see where this situation ends up, how the situation going to turn out to be, which it seems like it's turning out okay, because it seems like her, her viewers is getting lower and lower and lower, less and less and less. You feel me? But I, w I decided to join you ladies, and I decided to spread the awareness to spread the awareness because I wouldn't wish this on my brother I wouldn't wish this on my uncle I wouldn't wish this on my worst nightmare I wouldn't even wish this on their girlfriends or their baby mothers I wouldn't wish this situation on nobody so that's what made me decide to speak out because this is not only have this man been dealing with cancer and you already was on the internet saying you didn't like how he looked and all of this excuse me till death do you part when you got married, you got married under God. Through sick, through whatever, through health, through wealth, through whatever, you know. And, okay, granted, if you decided that you wasn't attracted to your husband anymore and you didn't want to be, but you didn't have to go this far. As far as forgetting that he built you up and to be where you are right now. You could have said with the little stuff that you said in the beginning and you could have still had your supporters. He could have had his supporters and you could have went about your business. But now you on some thin line between love and hate type shit. And I'm going to keep it all the way above. Like, I'm going to keep it real. And I'm here to say all the things people want to say but scared to say. Okay, and the more people, the more awareness, the more this get out, it, it 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 helps. It helps because right is right and wrong is wrong. I've been following this story since day one, since the fake 911 call, and I used to follow this couple. I used to follow this couple. It's times I used to be like to my husband, look how he treating her, you know, and and he he got better with that, like. 
trust and believe I got me a good one and he got him a good one because best believe if he catch cancer, whatever the situation, he gets sick, no matter if we separate it or not, I'm coming back for mines. I'm taking care of mines. And you actually, you remind me of, y'all ever seen that movie, um, what is that movie? Diary of a Mad Black Woman? How the husband treated her and kicked her out, kicked the wife out for a whole side chick when he wound up getting hurt or whatever, where he needed her. Who was there? It was the wife, but it was time for the wife to move on after she healed him, after she brought him back to health, to wealth, to everything, after she held him down. She went back and took care of her husband. But she left because she knew it was toxic. He didn't love her. And, and, and when he, by the time he loved her, it was too late. It was too late. But in this situation, the roles have changed because now it's a Brianna in that situation and it's a Robert Hampton. And Brianna is the man that kicked his wife out for the side chick and brought this scrub. The one that so-called brung her in rooms, she haven't been in. But obviously, Robert Hampton done brung you in rooms that you haven't been in. Because if it wasn't for him building your platform and building your and building you up, period, you wouldn't have even met this man. Because you would have still been getting so-called sucked by dogs and all of this because you would have still been obsessed with your baby father. Only thing Robert Hampton did was he, he just came in and he just distracted you but you still in love with that man you mad that that man married you just the obsessed obsessive chick you just crazy flat out cycle but i'm gonna go to these i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna play the video i'm gonna play the video but i just i don't know but let's get to it <laughs> decided to um the flea have done decided to um form a group form a um a hate club against the truth or whatever like that but it's so crazy like these people really was on a short bus bro because everything they say and this man is doing this girl is really doing to him like this what's up with this reverse psychology what's going on in this world it's like this world is getting motherfucking stupider 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 by the day by the day okay if you have somebody psycho Ruining your your name, ruining your image, ruining your platforms, ruining your relationship with your children, knowing that you actually you could, do you understand what that could do to somebody? Do you understand what state that could bring somebody? And why I salute this man because he's standing strong through it all. He's standing strong through it all. But a regular person, I don't know if I could even dealt with this. All this cyberbullying and all of this they saying is happening to her, but it's happening to him. Y'all yeah, really was on a short bus. And that's why she's really only getting like 300 and something likes. Like her views and stuff is going down. Besides her sitting here doing these crazy skits, the same thing she said Robert was doing. Long story short, these crazy skits and stuff. And... And you tricking somebody saying, look what I found in the day. And then when you go to the video, it was trash, just like the house. But anyway, so the, um, Robert Hampton said, because this is a receipt that the flea hives thought was a receipt and thought they had one up on him, which they never do, which is all facts. Because when you got somebody doing this, I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying to love you, like not love you, but love you from a distance, understand that you my kid mother and I still loved your kids as a stepfather. And I feel like I still wanted you to have your platform no matter what you have done to me. Okay. But you doing the most right now. So now I have to do what I have to do. That's what I got from the message. Because now you playing with me. It's but so much patience you think somebody's going to have. But anyway, by the way, this is, uh, this is what Robert Hampton said. And they said that it was threats. Harassing her. Um, you about to go. 
you are about to get all the all your, I'm sorry. Let me start over. You're about to get all these kids lying. Start them with this criminal record early in life like you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Every witness you have ever brought lied and you've seen what the results was. Your dad, <laughs> Dawn, and you bringing the kids to lie. I have everything on camera and can't wait to show all the video proof I have. Shaking my head, just stop, just stop making yourself look bad already. You, you lose all of your kids. You trying to lose all of your kids. Don't worry. I'm ready to raise my little girl. I'm sorry if I was stuttering because I had to turn the light down on the camera because it was bright. It was messing up my eyes. But y'all got the picture. Where's the threat? Where is the threat? He's just responding, but let's get to it. <laughs> My bad, I'm back. Apologies. I had to go check on my food. But anyways, so this is the response from the comments. I just, under that response that I um just read, these is the comments that was under it. Okay. They be doing too much. It's where at it. Because no money will be made without using her name. They just sick as hell. Look at his face. Face of a scorned, mentally unstable man. Bless his poor soul. Must be stressful to have to keep up the shenanigans. First of all, y'all saying all of this stuff that Brie going through. Y'all doing reverse psychology. What's up with y'all? Are y'all slow? Are y'all dumb? Do y'all gotta visit YouTube? Because y'all crazy at this point. But anyways, she won't be. She won't. Um. She won't be around long. Laugh out loud. Look how. Look how Lita left him with his stink. Look how Lita left him where he stink. Ain't no woman finna. Ain't no woman finna be tolerating no shrimp for too long. They might, they might stay for a come up. That's about it. Laugh out loud. And after that, shaking my head and Erica Bennett, you sitting here condoning that. They might. So that's what I believe. And that's why y'all follow this chick because y'all ain't nothing but gold diggers. Probably ex strippers. No, don't get me wrong. I ain't judging nobody, but. A bottom of the barrel ass bitches that fucks people husbands that do all of this that don't have no morals for yourself you want to know why for you to condone something like this so not only are you using a nigga okay if you want to use a nigga and you fuck come up use them but for you to get married under god that's another separate problem for you to be committing adultery is a whole nother different situation now you're disrespecting God. For all of that, you should have stayed in a relationship. Because you wouldn't have been held accountable for nothing that you have done. Are y'all dumb? Are y'all dumb? Erica Bennett, yes, you're very dumb. But okay. Y'all some haters in the comments. Team Robert. Okay, La, La Erica Hayes. Ooh, okay, shorty. Get at him. Um... So let's get to it. You sure you are team robber? Because it surely doesn't look like it with you being on the Brehive page. Of course, I'm going to be on the Brehive page because I want to see the things that y'all are making up. How delusional you are. So I'm going to continue to spread the word to spread awareness. So I'm going to be on whoever page I want to. Okay, with that ugly wig or whatever, pretty P, 
let's get to it because these is the people that be talking about other people. Y'all be looking mad crazy or whatever like that. Y'all be looking mad crazy, but when you pull up the pictures, y'all don't y'all look like this. Where's your neck? Oh, where's your neck? Where's your neck? Filtered, all of those uh, filtered. Fresh out of jail, came to get my hair done. <laughs> My bad. My bad. My bad. Let me go back to. Let me go back to this chick. Pretty P or whatever. First of all, this is what you really look like with filter. Overweight, no neck. And I'm not no cyber bully or nothing like that, but that's what y'all basically doing. So y'all gonna get what y'all want. Y'all going to get what y'all want. And I'm going to continue to say the things that other people don't want to. You're, you're all head. You're all head. And under that weave, you're probably bullheaded as hell. With your oversized lips. Girl, you wish you was a breed. Girl, stop being a groupie. Stop being a groupie. These is the chicks that be talking about other people. All that filter. And then the other pictures, a filter, weave. Girl, this is your natural, and you ain't even natural because you got filter and weave. But, okay, let's go. But this is the flea hive. This is who y'all support. Came to get my hair done. <laughs> fake cute or whatever it was funny but it was funny and you want to know why it's so funny because you got a chick that really if you was to do a month in jail you would be pissing on yourself and not due to the botox or the surgeries that you have got not due to the leakage because i heard about that leakage that you got every time you go to the hair salon and stuff they got to wipe out the chairs i heard about that but when i tell i'm not talking about that when i tell you if you go in there with big bertha in them I promise you, bro, you ain't going to be doing all this. You ain't going to be happy, girl. You didn't even do 24 hours. 24 hours. You made it to the ball pit. You didn't even make it to the jail. Took it off free to big one. Where? She just went to the station. You might as well say the bitch done pulled up to the drive through with motherfucking mad cars and it was a long line. Because by the time she made it to the drive through and paid her money, she was home. She was home. This is the wannabe down ass bitches but really can't do no type of time. Because bro, when I tell you, karma's not finished with you. Karma's not finished with you. You over here popping, popping that fake ass. Popping that. The only why I'm saying fake and leakage and all that because I already heard about you. I already know the truth. I already know what goes on. Like I told you, I've been playing behind the scenes. But for you to be gassed and coming, girl, let me tell you. Because I'm going to put that other video up. Let me tell you, I went to jail for a stream. They was laughing at him. No, they laughing at you because you about to ruin your whole career. You about to ruin your, um. Your, your record and all of this for you being obsessed you took it too far you never gonna be once and ever again just get it through get get it through your head get it through your head 
You can leave the bigger uh booger picker now. You can leave the booger picker now. You can leave them. And just be happy and continue to heal the same thing that I said yesterday. And no, I'm not on here trying to be no cyber bully. I'm not trying to sit here and jump on a bandwagon as everybody else, which I told y'all I love the um I love the awareness that the people have been bringing. You know, I love it. I support it. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Don't get me wrong, but when you continue to try to antagonize somebody, keep their children from them, like, you don't understand. I may have not have been through domestic violence, but it's certain things that you are doing that triggers me. That triggers me. And I would say that in other videos and I would talk about it. But right now, I want to continue to bring awareness. Now, when you get on these platforms and, de and decide to be honest and tell your truth and say that it, you lied and, and all of this, this was made up and you was just hurt because your husband didn't want you no more. Because he could have been done, did all of them things. You could have been feeling unwanted. You could have been feeling like he was cheating. You could have been feeling like you was insecure. Because, let me tell you something, my husband is sort of doing what your husband is doing. You feel me? And my husband didn't yet make it to where your husband is at yet. Which he is. Which he's gonna be. You know, but it's just the little stuff and how I feel as a wife sometimes. Yeah, I come at him, but no, I don't be checking his phone every day. No, I, because I, what you look for is what you get. And no, I'm not saying, oh, that gives you a right up to sit here and do what you do because God is going to give you and lead you when it's time to. Trust and believe that. Won't nobody get nothing up with you when you got faith in God and trust in God. It's just going to come. You don't have to check every day, mama. But I say that to say we go through our stuff and he didn't even make it so and but he's making it. He's climbing. He's making it. But what I'm saying is if you be honest and just say how you feel, and it's sometimes I feel like I'm not wanted or I'm not hurt. But stay on that topic. Don't come in dragging it like you've been in domestic violence for real, for real. That's wrong. Do you know already as a black man? How that, how that could mess him up? That's still your daughter's father, whatever. Like, you still, like... Get with the program, shorty. Get with the program because you doing the most. Like, you you doing the most. It's over for that hot girl summer. It's over for... It's time to get with God or go with the... Like, it's, it's, it's over for that. That shit played out. You two years younger than me. No, matter of fact, no, we the same age. I'm 31, you 31. When you have kids, it's over. It's a wrap. It's okay. You could look... Fully clothed and seductive and pretty at the same time. And you would attract the right people. When you properly heal and give yourself to God and follow the 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 book as best to your knowledge because you claim that you this Christian woman and you so holy holier than thou, which I don't understand how you can sit on the internet and say that. But every time we always hear you talking about God is when you're going through a situation, it's not about praising him when you're going through a situation. It's about praising him when you're going through the good, when you're going through the bad, and when you go all the time. Even when you're sitting on the toilet, you talking to that man. You're being for real. But you do it only when you're in a, in, in a, in a, in a situation or somebody's breaking up with you or treating you bad. When you actually heal and give yourself to God and follow the steps as best as your ability, as best as you can, God will bring the right man in your life. Because you may have been really in a crazy situation where you didn't feel love or wanted. And that's how I feel. You probably was feeling like that. He probably did make you feel, you know. But keep it there. Don't drag it out for something that is really not. That's my problem with you. But let's go.
would you uh, go out in your drawers knowing that you have a pinky? It is a drawers. Yeah, yes, that's why everybody was posting it. Like, is it a grower? I'm like, no, it's not a grower. I wish I could post a picture. I wish I could post a picture. But I don't want to get back. Don't do it. Listen, I forgot what the comments even said under the picture because I have a whole husband even though things were scribbled out. Okay. I don't want to see that even though things were scribbled out. But that's very wrong. You came in this situation for a come up. For you to have sneaky pictures, sneaky videos, private conversations, you came in this shit as a come up. And that's wrong. And not only did you come into it as a come up, you know you really didn't love this man. You know because the person that really loves somebody would not have done the things that you have done. And not only that, you brought a kid into this world with somebody that you really didn't like. Somebody that you really despise, that you really hate. That if I, I, I feel in my heart, if y'all was face to face and you had a knife, if, if somebody put the knife in your hand and gave you the option to stab this man, excuse me, I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm just speaking the truth. And like I told y'all, I'm speaking what other people ain't going to say. You would have stabbed him and killed them. That's how you feel and that's wrong. And what in mind sitting here having your daughter crying on your shoulders because she's fatherless. Y'all got a kid together. Get it together. I see the hurt in this girl's eyes, even from the party. The same way you said she looks when she's with her dad. I don't see them sad faces, how she look confused when she's with you. If y'all can honestly zoom in on this little girl's facial expression, she just looks lost. She just looks lost and she feel confused and she feel pressure and she feels she's in the middle. She don't know what to do. And not only that, she's still just the toddler at the end of the day. And y'all have her, you, you having her choose. And you singing, you bring her to mental health because what Robert done to her baby girl. You need to evaluate yourself. You need to evaluate yourself because you doing more harm than good. But let's get into it. She just pepper sprayed me. She just pepper sprayed me for no reason in my house. I can't keep following me. No, I ain't following you nowhere. No, I don't have a gun. Were you really doing this? Long? He got a gun. But the flea hive want to keep supporting this. He got a gun. He on live talking. Saying he don't got a gun. Thin line between love and hate type bitch like I've been said. Stuff again. I'm recording everything. Please hurry. Yeah, please hurry, cause she's please crazy. Hurry. Please hurry, she's crazy. Real crazy, psycho. Thank you. Please hurry up, she's crazy. I can't keep up. Let's get back to it. I apologize. My husband just knocked on the door, but let's go. Do what you do. I'm way up here. Do what you do. And that's another thing. And I'm going to scratch what I said last night because I said, oh, you just a dirty chick. You literally just be on the internet all day faking like you're a happy mom, like you a happy girlfriend. And when you was with the truth, your house was clean. And I had to go back and visit other previous videos because that was a couple of arguments that he was mentioning while he's out making all of this money while you ain't got no job. Why you supposed to have all these master degrees, all of this, all of this stuff going on for yourself, which I don't understand because you was making ten dollars an hour. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna take that back when I said, oh, when you was with the truth, your kids were straight and your house was straight. No, your kids were straight. But I guess he got tired of cleaning up and picking up after you, which is a mess. You could go out all day, every day, hair done, looking lace on the internet. But look at your crib, mama. You can't even say, oh, you moving in. No, that stuff look junky as hell. That look junky. That look dirty. And, that, and you brought that to this house. So that's you. You in a whole nother situation shit. 
So that's you. You just dirty. And you talking about sweet mom, her house dirty. She lived with her mom and stuff. But shorty, check this out. I'd rather live with my mom any day than sit here and live by myself and I'm living like this. No. You got life all screwed up. Yeah! Appearing with nobody. That's. And. Woo, child. <laughs> Black sheep, Humpty Dumpty, what you, what, Dodo Bird. <laughs> I don't know what you call her, but shorty, you, this was the time when you should have been, this was the time you trying to be aware, you trying to, my nigga, this was the time when you should have been having to come up, you should have been allowing your daughter to get what she could get. You done turned your daughter away from this man. You done. You done did the worst trying to be down with Bree. Bro, you didn't even win the goddamn fundraiser for the parents. And you supposed to, you be sending your daughter out there to her girl. You be sending your daughter with her. Violating the whole girl, violating the whole situation. You know it's a lot, everything that's going on. You already know behind closed doors. I know the same way everybody else noticed the truth. You know the truth. And for you to jump on this girl bandwagon is wrong. You ruining a relationship between him and his child off of the flea house. Somebody that's going to itch and that's going to cause you mad bumps like the bumps that you got on your face. You so much a groupie into the beehive. Flea hounds, they giving, they biting you all over your face. Like, girl, it's time to just back up. Like, it's time to just back up, do you, and rejuvenate. You trying to be down. You trying to put yourself. You trying to be relevant. My mom. I'm going to get back at you. But this tonight, this video ain't about you. This is about the flea hive. This video ain't about you. But if I was you, I would get up out that group. I would get up up away from her i would allow i would continue to build that father daughter relationship between my baby father and my daughter because i wouldn't want my face to even look halfway like yours but i'm gonna keep it real <laughs> girl you want to be relevant you want to be relevant relevant so so bad you want to be relevant so bad but let's go because since you want to be relevant we're gonna make you relevant uh, i'm gonna get back at you but we're gonna make you relevant okay narcissist and hard to deal with i don't need a co-parent with nobody my peace of mind is more important than trying to co-parent like for real y'all need to be quiet like for real by the way You thinking about you right now. Again, nobody's thinking about the kids. You talk about you, 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 your state of mind. You don't need to co-parent. But yes, you do need to co-parent. You want to know why you need to co-parent? Because your daughter is not 18 yet. So it's times where you still have to co-parent with this man for the sake of your child. If you love your child, you will sit here and co-parent. It's not about your ugly self no more. It's about your children. You haven't been with this man for how long? And you talking about, oh, it's about you, it's about you, it's about you? No, it's not. It's about baby girl. That's when y'all all messed up. Do the right thing. And maybe your hair will grow. Bye-bye. <laughs> trying to read girl you just as you illiterate as they sorry for a comma. okay but yeah anyways on that note i'm gonna get back to shorty on another time because she's just as dumb as they could be too but who could blame you the whole flea hive is dumb but i'm about to get up off of here um if you like the if you like my um 
my videos you can hit the bell if you also like my videos you can also let me know by hitting the like button so i can know if i want to decide to move forward with this story um if you have any other stories that you think that you want me to touch on or talk about or have my reactions shay's famous reactions pull up in the comments pull up in the comments i'm definitely gonna reply and do the right thing like share and sh like share and subscribe deuces